Hi, let's see how to fix RPCS3 booting failed. The selected file or the folder is invalid or corrupted. RPCS3 is a well known popular or emulator for the PlayStation 3 games, letting you play them on your computer. But like all the software, it can sometimes run into the problems. One of the issues that many users face is the error message saying RPCS3 booting failed the selected file or the folder is invalid or corrupted the full error message reads booting failed the selected file or the folder is invalid or corrupted so let's see what causes rpcs booting failed the selected file or the folder is invalid or the corrupted the first cause is corrupted game files this error can occur for a variety of reasons the common reason for this error is corrupted game files is one of the major cause or reason if your game files are the damaged or incomplete rpcs can't start the game okay and the second cause is outdated rpcs version if you are using the older or the outdated version you will also face these kind of issues okay and the third cause is insufficient system requirements suppose if your system requirement doesn't meet with the requirement for the game or for the particular application this error can happen okay so now let's see like how to fix the booting field the selected file or the folder is invalid or corrupted okay so the first method is check the game file check if your game file is incomplete or not corrupted if it is damaged download it again from a trustworthy source second method is check for the rpcs update if you are still having the trouble with the issue it's worth checking for their update new update once you have updated launch the application check to see if the issue remains or it has been resolved okay so in order to check for the updates follow these steps so that you can check for the update okay and the third method is check for the system requirement check if your computer meets the RPCS3 system requirements if it needs the strong CPU or the GPU along with the good amount of RAM. Okay, so let's see like how to check the system requirement or let's see like what is the requirement is required for this. Okay, and the CPU uh, AMD with six cores or the uh, and the 12 threads or the eight cores with the AMD Zen 2 architecture or the newer avoid the AMD thread dripper thousand and series ram of at least 8 gb is recommended but for the best performance go 16 gb is more is good to have and the gpu should support the open gl 4.3 or higher with the good can be the better choice and the operating system you need of up to 64 bit operating system which supports windows 7 8 uh, 10 11 or the linux 3 bsd and the mac os the fourth method is uninstall and reinstall the RPCS. If nothing else has fixed, the, try uninstalling the particular application and then again we can reinstall it from the official website. Okay, and the official website is rpcs3.net. Okay, so after reinstalling, check the issue whether if it is still exists or not. Okay, some of the steps to in uninstall, go to the control panel and go to the apps and features and uh, go to the rpcs3 to locate the application funds once you find it in the list select it and you can you can click on uninstall so once it confirmed once once it's asked the prompt for the uninstall you click on uninstall and you can uninstall it and the fifth method is contact the rpcs support team if the previous solutions didn't work the best solution is to reach out the RPCS support team and the backend technical team they will always be able to help you and they can support you okay so that's all about this thank you